Is Russia's Tsar Bomba ever going to be used? It was used. The Soviets detonated a version of Tsar Bomba that had a yield of between 50 and 62 megatons in the Novaya Zemila archipelago on 30 of October 1961. The blast shattered windows hundreds of miles from where it was set off, and aerial photos of the place it was detonated still show a severely scorched rock surface. This was the only purpose that bomb was good for. It was built because Khrushchev had downed too much stoli at a UN meeting the year before and threatened to show the United States Kuzka's mother, a Russian euphemism that basically means, we'll show you. Well, Nikita had popped off and now he had to do something. So he had his nuclear scientists cobble together an enormous super bomb and then set it off in the middle of nowhere, where it vaporized a lot of rock, broke a bunch of windows, and damn near killed the crew of the airplane that they sent to drop the thing. They got 28 miles away before it blew up. Their plane lost a kilometer, 0.62 miles of altitude from the shock wave, which reached them at 71 miles, and the pilot of the plane died 15 years later at the age of 53. But hey, at least they made him a hero of the Soviet Union. The Soviets never built another one. Its only value or consequence was propaganda and intimidation. Well, that and the environmental damage it did to Novaya Zemlya, where the glaciers are still 65 years and 130 times more radioactive than normal 60 years after the bombing. Way to go, comrade Nikita. You sure showed the polar bears. It was fired when it was at an altitude of four kilometers. The land below reflected the shockwave and prevented the fireball from impinging on it. The other point is that the land it was fired over was barren rock. Finally, it was only one of a hundred high-energy tests in the general area, most lower in elevation. This is a view of the Soviet test area north, Novaya Zemlya Island. It has actually two islands with the Matachin Shar separating them. Sukhoi Nose, wet peninsula, is indicated. The orange dot pointed to is seven different nuclear tests, one of which was the Tsar Bomba. All the orange dots are airdrop nuke tests. The gaggle of purple ones was underground tunnel tests. The yellow lines are rocket trajectories of lofted nuclear tests. Before 1963, the Soviets did a lot of anti-missile tests. The thin red lines are test area boundaries. This is a detail the area around that orange dot is expanded. For scale, the yellow box measures 130 meters on each side. The box is a corral in which seven nuclear tests by the Soviets are all reported with identical latitude and longitude pointed at by the upper left corner of the box. The red lines indicate the elevations of the explosions. The czar, indicated by the legend, was the highest. Another at the extreme top of the screen was a 13 mit test done a week before the czar. The one with the yellow line was lofted by a rocket and exploded at the end of its trajectory. While you can't make it out very well, the entire area in the picture is bare rock. It has without a doubt been dusted within an inch of its life, but there are no materials here that would invite a crater.